So I knew that I had to make my own justice. And I also decided that because they were getting out and they were coming back to community, I wanted to meet with them. Because I wanted to let them know that they have a life to still live. And the only way they can make amends to me, because they can't bring my son back, the only way they can make amends to me is to live their life in a good way, to be in our community again in a good way, to not keep doing the same old dirt, because if they did, that garbage gets dumped on us again. And now I think, like, I've pulled it off. I've done all right with myself, and I've kept everything that I said I'd do, and I'm obligated to three women in my life, my wife, my mother, and you. And I think all the time, like, just do good. Be a good person. <laughs> and when I get aggravated and tired, and I don't want to be a good person. I just I want to be an asshole. I want to yell, but I can't. And... My life is centered around the death of somebody, and it blows my mind. And I got it. I know why you came to see me. And I remember just waking up in the middle of the night and just writing her a letter in the dark. Dear Miss Connors, how are you? Hopefully all is well for you and your family upon the arrival of this letter. I'm a better person in 2010 than I was in 2001. A lot of that has to be attributed to you. I'm not sure I'd see much reason to be a better person if you simply wished the worst for me. You once gave me a tiny piece of your forgiveness. I'll do everything that I can to earn it all, bit by bit, 